Hey everybody, Galaxy Princess here. Today we are playing Kirby's Adventure for the NES. First Kirby game I ever played. Um, I know I've been away for a while, but I don't know. I kind of wanted to dive back into this. Just because I finally needed something to distress from because, let's face it, the world sucks. So level one is Vegetable Valley, and what I'm going to aim to do is one level, quote unquote, which are also the worlds. I guess with this game, the worlds are levels, and the individual levels are stages. I don't know. Um, if you see me pause, that's either me trying to show the explanation for the ability, or just I literally got distracted by some shit. Um, so yeah. Um, before- let's get the elephant out of the room. Yes, I am playing this on an emulator. Only way I have access to record it because of my video capture card situation. I do legally own this game. Several times, actually. Um, I have the original NES card. I can't play it on my NES anymore because my NES doesn't want to read, but I still do own the game. Um, and I have it on the virtual console on the Wii too, but the Wii is such a pain in the ass to hook up. I didn't want to bother with it. But yeah, it is what it is. You don't like it, I don't care. Unsubscribe, don't care. Um, it's not affecting my gameplay whatsoever. And it's just more convenient for me to record games on this than just in general. And oh my gosh, I am really sucking. I haven't played this game in forever. The input, there's no input lag or whatever. I am perfectly capable of what I am doing. It's just my video game senses are all out of whack because I haven't played in years. Well, not years, but this game I haven't played in years. Um, so yeah, that wasn't bad. I forgot how short these levels were, to be honest with you. I figured I could start with something kind of simple, since it's Kirby. Playing this on a Wii U Pro controller. So that's always fun. Um, I'm debating if I want to do the remake of this too. I might. Basically, today I recorded a bunch of quote unquote episode ones. And. I don't know, I just made just spam upload all of them. Which ones I decide to upload weekly, if any will be variant. It depends on my mental state of mind. Um, working really through a wrench in my YouTube channel. Not to mention, I've never been the most popular YouTube channel. Um, mainly because of my gender. Which I was, you know. I've heard it all, believe me. Oh my god, you're a female, you suck at this game. Yada 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 yada. Which is not accurate. Oh my god, I forgot about that stupid bullshit. So, um, this is the first Kirby game to feature the copy abilities. And as you can see, they didn't totally have it figured out yet. Um, Kirby doesn't get his cute little hats. Um, he does turn a light shade of peach when he has an, a copy ability. And if it's a special one like Crash here, he'll flash. Um, but one hit and your copy ability goes flying. It suffers the same fate as all NES games actually. Well, not all, but think back to the original Super Mario Brothers, where even if you have a Fire Flower one hit, you're going back to regular Mario. Whereas in Super Mario Brothers 3, if you have like a Fire Flower or 
a tanuki suit or a raccoon tail, what have you. If you get hit, you go to Super Mario and then you go to regular Mario. Um, so I am thinking of going through all the Kirby games that I have access to. At least most of them anyways. Um, sorry. Um, so this one, possibly the remake, Superstar. Definitely Superstar's remake because that one. I don't remember the differences with this one's remake. I know obviously there's updated graphics and the sub games were updated a little bit. But um, Superstar added a bunch of new modes. I don't remember if this one did. Um, Crystal Shards will be done. Um, and I am blanking on the name. Return to Dreamland. After that, I don't have any other. W I don't have any way to record the rest. Um, I do own Triple Deluxe and I do own Planet Robobot, but I have no way of recording my 3DS. And, um, I guess another thing I should get out of the way. Um, Kirby games are known for their secrets. Um, they're not as bad as, say, um, Donkey Kong. But they are known for their secrets. I am not gonna go and look for every secret possible. Um, for one, I don't know where they all are. Um, that's not the kind of gamer that I am. I'm not a completionist or... But... Sorry for that delay. It was just easier to edit it out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, my idea, my goal of any game is always just to get to the end and beat it. If I do decide to do anything to quote unquote 100% it, that's solely based on A, the replay value of the game, B, if I want to torture myself with that, because, yeah, I'm a gaming YouTuber, but you know what? I'm not perfect. I'm not a speedrunner. And, like I said, I'm not a completionist. I do this for fun in my spare time. Like... I mean, there have been a few times where I have, quote unquote, done everything, like in Super Mario 3D World. I have made it to World Crown. Have I finished it? Hell no. It's impossible. So, in this game, there's a museum where you can view an ability for free. Quote unquote. But you can also use it to get a free ability. Usually it's one that will help you with the boss battle of this level. Um, which, big surprise. It's a Kirby game. Your first boss battle is Wispy Woods. I do have access to the three Kirby Dreamland games. But I'm not as familiar with those. So, in order for me to do those, I would have to practice. But... We'll keep it with these for now. Besides, Kirby's Dreamland is ridiculously hard. Um, so th I was obsessed with this Kirby when I was a child. Like, not just the freeze ability, which obviously got merged to the ice ability in future Kirby games. This is like a hybrid of ice and spark, and I loved it. I just love the color he turned. So much that a teddy bear that I still have that was given to me by my uncle was blue and I named it Kirby because I was just obsessed with the blue Kirby. Um... Yeah, I'm really bad at this. I never know what to say. That's why 9 times out of 10 I don't do voiceovers. Because I don't know what to say.
definitely let me know if you want to do if you want me to do um, the remake of this as well. I really suck at this end bonus game thingy. So we're going to go in and fight Wispy Woods now. Which, like I said, big surprise. That it's Wispy Woods. Wispy Woods is always the first boss of any Kirby game. Even when you think it's not, it is. Well, that concludes that. See you next time. Bye.